Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Who's New at the Kids Zoo. My name is Rick Skideman. I'm the zoo director here, and I'm with Lizzie. She's one of our animal care specialists. And we are at our North American River Otter exhibit in the central part of the zoo because we have a brand new friend named Benjamin. So tell us about Benjamin. Yeah, so like you said, Benjamin is our newest North American River Otter. Um, he is also our youngest otter, so he's about a year and a half old, a little over. Um, so he is really fun, very playful, and he gets along with his buddy Nico really well. Um, so we actually have Nico and Benjamin on exhibit right now. Um, they look very similar, but you can tell them apart by their coloration. Uh, so Nico is kind of a darker brown color, um, and then Benjamin is more of like a reddishy uh, brown color. Um, Nico kind of has a thinner face, and Benjamin has a little bit of a lighter face. Uh, but they're both very playful, and they get along really well. They're really, really cute. All right, so now I'm going to go off script a little bit. Yeah. Because there is a peacock who's sitting up on that rock. Yes. <laughs> and I see him up there often. Yes. Now, what's going on? Does he think he's an otter? <laughs> yeah, I kind of wonder. Sometimes I do think they think that. They really like hanging out along the rock. Um, it's honestly great enrichment for the otters because they love to just follow them along, watch them. Well, um, we we got to add rock into the fun <laughs> too. Now, um, so they're North American river otters. Yes. They're found in Canada. They're found in America. They're found in the state of Indiana. Yes. So they're in our own state. Um, but isn't it true there was a time when they were almost extinct? Yes, that's correct. Um, in the late 1800s, 1900s, uh, their populations decreased pretty significantly um, due to things like fur trade. They have a really nice, fluffy, furry coat that people really wanted. Um, and then also due to water pollution. Uh, a lot of pollution from factories was going into the water and there was just a lack of regulation. Um, and then also habitat loss. Um, so fortunately, people started to realize that um, and they actually were able to bring back those numbers. So today, otters are actually considered least concerned for their conservation status um, due to things like reintroduction processes where they bring otter populations um, to a place where they once grown. And they kind of monitor those until they start to flourish and survive on their own. Um, also more regulations for cleaner water because otters are pretty good indicator species of over water quality. Got more rules to kind of help with keeping more habitats for these guys. Oh, wow. that's, that's a great story. Yeah. And it's easy to see them here at the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo. So we'd love to see you and have you meet Nico, Benjamin, our new friend, and Rocky. Why not? Yeah. Come on down. <laughs> <laughs>